I should embrace Christ. I think I should give my heart to the Lord. And then pride will come in. Ah, you of all people. That person will see you. That other person will see you. I about the bragging that you were bragging before. I about all these things that you have said. And you said, if it is hell, I don't care. I will go to hell. Now you are suffering. And then you know you need to go. It will take courage. It will take boldness. But that boldness is just a boldness of one minute. The moment you say, I will arise and go. And the devil is trying to say, I don't go, don't go. And then you rise up like this. Once you rise up like that, you conquer that fear. You conquer that fear. And you are not a coward anymore. While you are sitting down, should I go? Should I not go? You are a coward. While you are saying, should I go back to my father? Or should I perish in my hunger here? And you are still sitting down, you are a coward. While the devil is telling you, sit down. Don't respond. Don't listen to them. You and I were together. I am going to hell. Why are you not going with me? Sit down. While you are sitting down, the devil is your master. And you are a coward. But the moment you say, I will arise. That Satan is not going to be the master of my life. I make up my mind. I. I. I will arise. And go unto my father. And I will say. Unto my father. My father. Father. I have seen against seven. And before thee. Now he solved the problem of many years in five minutes. He, he, he solved the problem. He removed the problem of many years in five minutes. That can happen to you tonight. The moment you make up your mind, I will arise and go. And you are coming to a loving father. You are coming to a father will forgive you. And he will change your life. And it will change your destiny. And then in verse 20. And he arose and came to his father. It is one thing to have intention. It's another thing to have action. You know some people say I will repent. That's intention. I will arise and go. That's intention. I will repent of my sin and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's intention. Intention. But the man had action. And that's what I'm calling you to tonight. It's good to have intention. While you are hearing the word of God. Today I will repent. Today I will give my life to the Lord. Today I will surrender. That's a good intention. But when the time comes, don't remain a coward. Put that intention into action. And he, and he arose and he came to his father. And when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him. The father will see you tonight. Jesus will see you tonight. The love of God will come to you tonight. His father saw him. And had compassion on him. And ran. And fell on his neck. And kissed him. The father accepted him. The father will accept you. God will accept you. The mercy of God is available for you. If you are not going to remain a coward. You know when I talk about being a coward. It's not only little children that are cowards. You see a little child might be a coward. When he sees the masquerade. 
And a big man may not be afraid because he knows that the fellow under that mask is a human being. But even the big man may be a coward before a woman. You know, they have been committing sin together. And he knows that this woman has ruined his life. And has already wrecked him. And the Lord is saying today, the Lord is saying, give me the wreckage of your life. And I'm going to repair it. I will mend your life. And big man may be a coward because of that woman. If I give my life to Christ tonight, and I go with Jesus, and I break away from all those works of evil, what will that woman say? That's the language of a coward. But a person who is not a coward, under because of that little woman there, and you say, I'm coming to the Lord. And nothing will stop me. Or it may be that you are a woman. And then that a man will give you uh, maybe a few naira. And then he is bragging. Without me, you cannot eat. Without me, you cannot move. The clothes on you, who bought it for you? Therefore, you must obey me. And you must surrender your body every time. And now you are hearing the word of God. And the Lord is saying, I am greater than that man. What's that man giving you? Almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. He has everything. And he will sustain your life. And then when you are hearing the message, and the spirit of God is drawing you. And then you are saying, I will arise and go. And it's something your mind says, but what will that man say? Woman, you make yourself a coward. But the moment you rise up, and you say, I will arise and go, you are not a coward anymore, you are a conqueror. How many will be conquerors today? Conquerors. I said conquerors. You will conquer. I said you will conquer. You will not be a coward anymore in Jesus' name. As he came, the father received him. And then in verse 21, the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight. Isn't that all? Just to confess. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then he said, I've sinned against heaven and against in thy sight. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him. Tonight, the Lord will give you the best. You are down. The Lord will lift you up. You have been uh, taken like a captive a slave to Satan. The Lord will break your chains and your shackles tonight. You're free. You're free. I said you're free. And the father did not say, Ah, I will punish you a little. The Lord will forgive you. He will forget everything you have done. And then he will take of the very best of the kingdom. And then he will put it on you. And he says, let us eat and be merry. Heaven will rejoice because of you. Think about you alone. When you break off that bondage of the coward. And you come to the Lord. And heaven begins to rejoice because of you. For this, my son was dead. And he's alive again. He was lost. And he's found. And he began to make merry. Happiness in your heart. Joy in your soul. 
cheerfulness in your spirit energy enthusiasm within you the joy of the lord coming to your life and then that's how you'll be rejoicing and rejoicing until the lord comes and it takes you to everlasting joy who will be among the number i said who will be among the number i said who will be among the number i have counted myself fortunate I surrendered my heart to Jesus. And sorrow has been taken away. Sadness has been taken away. Hopelessness has been taken away. Now the Father is taking care of me. That's why the Lord sent me to you. I'm just, I was like you are now. I was in the far country like you are now. But I had the invitation to come. And the devil wanted to make me a coward. What will my friends say? What will my daddy say? What will mommy say? What will my principal say? All of a sudden I stood up. And then I came to the front. And I was no more a coward. And I conquered everything. Now the joy of the Lord is raining in my heart. Tonight is your night. I said tonight is your night. Only the cowards will pull back and stay back. But those who conquer all that cowardice, they will rise and come to Christ. Heads bowed and eyes closed. If you are a coward, you will be sitting down. If you are a coward, you remain in your poverty. If you are a coward, you remain in your captivity. If you are a coward, you remain in your righteousness. If you are a coward, you remain in your misery. But now, if you are breaking the yoke of cowardice away from your life, and you are hearing the voice of the Lord today, saying, This is the day to rise and to come to the Heavenly Father. Who are the people that want to come? Out of your sin, out of your evil, and you are not a coward anymore, and you are coming out of your sin. Just raise up your hand. God bless you. That fear is broken away from your life. You come out of the secret court. You are not a coward anymore. You are coming out of that scene. You are not a coward anymore. Just raise up your hand. If you are raising up your hand. And you have conquered that spirit of being a coward. And you are coming to Christ. You will stand up where you are. Wonderful. Praise the Lord. Just stand up where you are. Where are you? Stand up where you are. And say yes here I am. I will follow Jesus. Till the end of my life. Adultery bye bye. Thank you stand up. Fornication bye bye. You can stand up. Stealing, bye bye. You can stand up. Secret cult, bye bye. You, you can stand up. As you are standing up, you see that man, I will arise, the standing, and go unto my father. That's coming out of where you are. Take your bag, take your Bible, take whatever you have. Come out here and come out of Christ. Come out to Christ. Keep on coming. Thank you very much. God bless you. You leave your fear behind. You leave the cowardice behind. And you are coming to Christ tonight. Keep on coming. Thank you. Keep on coming. The Lord is waiting for you. The Lord is waiting for you. Come from the back. Come from the middle. Come from every direction. No more a coward. No more a slave of Satan. No more a slave of sin. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. I will arise and I will go to my father. That's what you are doing now. That's what you are doing now. I will arise. I will arise. I will arise. Don't sit down. I will arise and go to my father. And I will say to my father. I will call him father. 
I will call him father. Your people get up and come. Come out of your seat. Young lady, come out. Come out to the Lord. Don't die in your seat. And young man, come out. Don't die in the secret court. Don't die in darkness. Come to the Lord. Big man, why will you not come? Rich man, why will you not come? Educated man, why will you not come? Christ is calling you. Don't be a coward. Will the illiterate be bold and an educated man will be a coward? Will a woman be bold and the men will be cowards? Will the young be bold and the older people be cowards? I will arise and go to my father. Arise and come. Arise and come. And come to the heavenly father. And say, Lord, I give myself to you. Don't worry about what other people will say. Somebody in that religion, somebody in that church, somebody in that place. What's your concern about that? And when you, when you die, you will face the judgment day alone by yourself. Come to Christ today and say, Lord, I come. I take you as my Savior to forgive my sin. I leave all the works of darkness behind. And I come to Jesus. Those of you who have come, salvation is ready for you now. Give me a good amen. We're going to pray together now. I'll pray with you.